and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Matt, and I'm Winnie. And today we are looking at part three of our story, Rip Van Winkle. So, in the first part of the story, we learn that Rip Van Winkle lives on a farm with his family, but he is quite lazy and avoids doing any work. Yes, and finally, when he's a little bit not so lazy, he makes his way to the mountains, where he tries to hunt. So he brings his gun and his dog.、Mm -hmm. But then, what happens? So on his way to go hunting, he meets a stranger, and this stranger is dressed in old Dutch clothes. So a bit odd. Yeah. This stranger also has with him a keg.、Mm. So the stranger brings Rip and the keg to a different place where some of his friends are playing a game.、Right. At that place, Rip. Drinks some something. Yeah, we from, don't know what exactly. Something from inside the keg, and、yeah. he has a few glasses, and then he falls asleep. Right,、mm. and when he wakes up from what he thinks is just a nap, or maybe the next day, he somehow makes his way back to his old village. But when he gets there, it's not his village anymore. It's a town. And not only he looks down, he he sees that he has a beard, and not only is it a beard, it's gray,、mm -hmm. which means a long time has passed.、Mm -hmm. So people are looking at him like he's a stranger, and they don't know him. He's got this long gray beard, and so Rip, in his confusion, asks the people, "Has anyone heard of Rip?" Van Winkle. I am confused.、Mm -hmm. So we were left at that point when we saw you last time, and we'll have to see what happens or what the people respond after this. Some people in the crowd point to a young man. He looks just like a younger Rip. Then a young woman with a baby says her father was Rip. However, he disappeared twenty years ago. So welcome back. We can finally know what is happening to Rip Van Winkle and his sort of confusion,、mm -hmm. right? So we just asked them, does anyone know who Rip Van Winkle is? Some people in the crowd point to a young man. He looks just like a younger Rip. What? What is happening? Okay, so we have the word crowd. Okay, and this is a noun. Okay, and just like we were talking in previous lessons, we're talking about the people gathering around Rip because they thought, hmm. This man is strange. So a crowd is just a large group of people who gather together. Because clearly, we notice that Rip Van Winkle he's making a scene, and people are very interested in what he has to say. So continuing on with the story, then a young woman with a baby says her father was Rip. However, he disappeared. Twenty years ago. Twenty years ago, he disappeared.、Mm. Okay, so this. I guess we know the answer to how long he's been sleeping. Well, they, so you might assume that this father of hers is this man, Rip Van Winkle, who has now grown his long beard、right. because yeah, maybe he's been sleeping for twenty years.、Mm -hmm. Or so they thought he had disappeared. Right. Okay. So to disappear means to no longer be around or to be missing. So when something appears, it means it shows up suddenly, is suddenly there. But when something disappears, dis means to not. So disappear meaning something is suddenly gone, suddenly missing. 
and you know no longer around. So just as Rip went out one day just to go hunting, it was expected that he would return the same day. But when he didn't return and no one know no one knew where he had gone, it's assumed that he had just disappeared. Yikes!、Mm -hmm. Wow. So I wonder what happened and what the village and the townspeople must be thinking. So this is twenty years that have passed, and、uh, I guess we could assume that this woman is Rip's daughter,、mm -hmm. and then she also has a baby. So Rip is. Probably now a grandparent, so、right. he has a grandchildren. So, so much has happened in the time that he has been sleeping. Yeah, so we can obviously tell. Wow, his beard isn't the only thing that got old. He's missed out on his his child's, you know, upbringing and the and then adulthood into her own. You know, she now has a kid as well, and so he's probably very confused. Yes, I think this would be very confusing, very difficult to deal with, very difficult to just move forward and and continue、right. with your life, having known that you've missed twenty years just sleeping, or maybe if he's lazy enough. He enjoyed sleeping for twenty years. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was a recharge. But I guess we'll have to wait till after the break to see what happens next. At that, Rip starts to tell his story. Nobody believes him, but then the village elder says it's true. The mountains have strange beings, and they protect the area. After that, Rip's daughter takes him to her home. He lives out the rest of his days there. Rip also returns to his old lazy ways. Welcome back. So before the break, we have just found out that a young woman in this town, this new town that replaced the village, has said that her father, named Rip Van Winkle, disappeared twenty years ago. So that would make us assume that Rip Van Winkle, the character in our story, has been missing or has been sleeping. For twenty years. Yeah, that's pretty crazy because none of us really know what happens. Because what happened? Because all he did was just drink from a stranger's keg and woke up twenty years later. So continuing on with the story, at that, Rip starts to tell his story. Nobody believes him, but then the village elder says it's true. Okay. So I mean, would you believe this if some random guy with a really long beard says, "I've been asleep" or "I've been gone," and he doesn't know how long it's been, and he's asking suddenly, "Does anyone know who Rip Van Winkle is?" I don't think I would believe him. Me neither. But,、um, you know, if I unless I re knew or remembered the person from you know twenty years ago. Yeah, but、Oops. even I would think they're just lying, right? But maybe if you knew that person well,、ah, you know, you know,、true. some of the things they do, the way they talk, it would be very difficult for someone to, to, to act like someone who has been missing for twenty years because most people would have forgotten what that person was right. like. Right, and if it weren't for the fact that that was his daughter that remembers,、mm. you know, the way her father looks. I don't think anyone else would remember or believe them, except for the elder, right? Who said that it's true, right? So, who is this elder? What is an elder? Okay, so the word elder is a noun, and it refers to someone who is older or senior in age. So, this makes sense that an elder would, you know, probably. Believe or、mm. know what is happening because they probably knew Rip.、Mm. Yeah. So this could be an elder in the town, just an older person who's living in that town and has probably lived in it since it was a village. Right. 
when Rip went off and went、mm. hunting. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. So the story continues. The mountains have strange beings, and they protect the area. What is a being? Okay. So a being means usually a living thing. Okay. That is something that just exists. So、okay. something like an animal or a person,、mm -hmm. or in this case, maybe something magical. Maybe something that. You know, we can't really explain. Explain.、Yeah. That's why we would use the term beings because you can't say people. You can't say animals. It's not either of those,、right. but it's some kind of living thing which、yeah. exists in the mountains. Right. And right now we don't really know what those things are,、mm. so we can only use beings.、Mm. Right, and so you, we, you know, there's the word protect, okay, and so it is a verb, and protect just means to keep safe from harm or injury. So, for example, our police and fire departments, you know, it's their job to protect us, right, to keep us safe from harm or injury. And continuing on with the story, after that, Rip's daughter. Takes him to her home. Okay, so she says, "Dad, come on, come on down, follow okay, me." Even、yeah. after that long, she、yeah. just welcomes him in. That's very nice. That is very nice. He lives out the rest of his days there, so he spends the rest of his life. When we say someone lives out the rest of their days, we mean that they live and un live until they right. No longer live or、yeah. until they die. They settle in.、Mm. They kind of so clearly we know that the daughter just accepts him. He accepts the situation, and you know he says, "I'll just live with you until、mm -hmm. I go on to death."、Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rip also returns to his old lazy ways. <sighs> What? Wow. You know they say you can't teach an old dog new, new tricks. tricks. So when someone has learned something from before, it's hard to break those habits. Hard to teach them to do something new. So Rip has returned to those lazy ways. So to return means to go back to. It can also mean to give back to. So when someone returns to something like. Ways you return to a certain way, it means you go back to doing something the way you did it before. So right, if I woke up and found out twenty years just went by without me knowing, I would feel like I would want to catch up to those twenty years and I don't know, make myself a better person and not be lazy anymore. But clearly, Rip Van Winkle has a different idea. Well, yeah, maybe he enjoyed that sleep, and he's <laughs> ready to continue being lazy for the rest of his days. Right, as he lives for, at his daughter's home. For all we know, he loved the twenty-year nap.、Mm -hmm. He gets to retire right away now. I see what you did there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the story of of Lazy Rip Van Winkle. Yes, and, and don't drink or eat things from strangers. Right. So I hope you've learned that today, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Some people in the crowd point to a young man. He looks just like a younger Rip. Then a young woman with a baby says her father was Rip. However, he disappeared twenty years ago. At that, Rip starts to tell his story. Nobody believes him, but then the village elder says it's true. The mountains have strange beings, and they protect the area. After that, Rip's daughter takes him to her home. He lives out the rest of his days there. Rip also returns to his old lazy ways. Hi, I'm Tina. We're going to look at this lesson's key words. The first one is crowd. Crowd, a noun, a crowd of people. The crowd at the concert was singing along with the singer. 演唱会现场的观众们正在跟着歌手唱歌。下一个单词 disappear， 
disappear. 动词失踪，消失。The rabbit disappeared in the bushes. 那只兔子消失在草丛里。Bush 指的是草丛。下一个单词 elder. Elder 名词指的是地位高、富有经验的长老、长者。You should listen to the advice of your elders. 你应该听长辈的建议。最后一个单词 protect. Protect, 动词，保护，捍卫。What can we do to protect the Earth? 我们能做什么来保护地球？接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，point to 加名词，指向什么地方 ？Point 意思是用手指或细长的物品来指。它的后面也可以接 toward， 表示相同的语义。我们来看看这个例句。The teacher pointed to a word on the blackboard and asked us a question. 也可以说成 the teacher pointed toward a word on the blackboard and asked us a question. 老师指向黑板上的一个字，问了我们一个问题。下一个文法 at that 在某个动作或者是某个事件之后，这是一个副词片语。我们来看看这个例句。The girl started to cry. At that, her mother came to comfort her. 那个女孩开始哭，随后她的妈妈进来安慰她。Comfort 就是安慰。最后一个文法 ，live out something， 度过余生。我们来看看这个例句。The woman lived out her last few months in the hospital. 那名女子在医院度过了人生的最后几个月。以上就是这一课的重点单字跟文法，回去记得复习哦。我们下一课再见，拜拜。Here's how to play. The host will be holding three cards. Each card will have two sentences containing a secret vocabulary word or phrase that has been replaced by the word bear. The host will read the sentences out loud for the contestants to guess. Whoever guesses first gets a point. The person with the most points wins, and you can play along too. Hey, hey! I'm Josh. I'm Carolyn. And I'm Matt. And today we're going to be playing Guess the Bear. It's going to be a very intense episode today. So, are you guys ready? I'm ready. No I'm holds ready. barred. We got some tricky questions. All right. Let's see if you get them. All right. This one's a preposition. Ooh. One word. David put his books bear. His backpack. When it got too cold, all the kids went bare. Inside. Oh yeah. How about that? <laughs> How about that? David put his books inside his backpack. When it got too cold, cold, all the kids went inside.、Mm. Oh man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have got that. I'm holding the cards. All right, noun. One word. The fairy fixed Mary's shirt with bear. About that, fantasy books are full of myths and bear magic. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if, that's right. We've obviously got a believer in the in, in the、yeah. in the arts over here.、Uh, so now one word: the fairy fixed Mary's shirt with magic. Fantasy books are full of myths and magic. Matt uses magic to guess the game. <laughs> Next one: phrase two words. Sam really bears bear. To the party, I'm bearing bear to getting to know you better. Look forward. Yes, yes. This is this is in- amazing.、Uh, Sam really looks forward to the party. I'm looking forward to getting to know you better.、Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to knowing how you how you how you do this. Just you know, look forward and think. About the answer. <laughs> that's that's some very good advice. Do I reckon we could both take a bit of that? Yeah.